Yeah, fellow countrymen and women, I'm here to address you once again in the course of our nation's history. I'm here to talk about a bill that has been proposed in the House of Representatives by the Speaker of the House of Representatives, Honorable Femi Badabi Amila. And the bill is titled Control of Infectious Disease Bill 2020. I want to start by saying this bill is um, it's not a holy bill. This bill is satanic. This bill is not uh, Nigeria friendly. This bill is an importation of colonial mentality. This bill can as well be Christian, the Bill Gates bill. The bill I've gone through and I've seen that section 19, section 30, and section 46 of the bill completely contravene the provisions of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. It contravenes section 34, it contravenes section 35 of the Constitution. To the, it, it, it contravenes not only the section that talks about the dignity of man, it also talks about uh, the, the section that talks about our, our fundamental human rights, uh, chapter 4. As I speak to us today, if you look at this bill, if we eventually pass this bill, then you will find out that we are moving to a police-controlled state. And if we can remember Section 1, 3 of the Constitution says, any law that is not in compliance with the provision of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria or is in conflict with the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria to the level of inconsistency shall be null and void. So we can see that this bill contravenes section uh, chapter 4 of the Constitution that talks about the fundament, fundamental human rights. It also contravenes the right to liberty of human persons in section 34. It also contravenes the provision of section 35 that talks about the dignity of human person. If you see sec section 19 of, the Constitu of uh, this bill, it says where it appears to the Director General that the holding of any meeting, gathering, or any public entertainment is likely to increase the speed of any infectious disease. The Director General may, by order, prohibit or restrict, subject to such conditions that he may think fit, for a period not exceeding 14 days, the meeting, gathering, or public entertainment in any place. Section 19.2 of the bill says, an order under subsection 1 may be renewed by the Director General from time to time, for such period not exceeding 14 days, as he may, by written notice, specify. Three, any person who holds is present at or has been taking part in any meeting, gathering, or public entertainment in contravention of an order by the Director General under subsection 1 shall be guilty of an offense. Four, a health officer or a police officer may take any action that is necessary to give effect to an order under subsection 1. Any person who is aggrieved by any order of the Director General under subsection 1 may within seven days from the date of the order appeal to the minister whose decision shall be final. Notwithstanding, six, sorry, notwithstanding that any appeal under subsection 4 is pending, an order made by Director General under subsection 1 shall take effect from the date specified by the Director unless the Minister otherwise directs. Then section 30 of this bill reads thus, 1. Every person on an international voyage, whether living or arriving in Nigeria, shall A, have undergone vaccination or any other prophylaxis against all or any of the diseases as may be prescribed. B, and produce valid international certificates of vaccination or any order to any port health officer. Notwithstanding subsection 1B, a port health officer may require such person to undergo vaccination or other prophylaxis 
and may subject may subject him to isolation or surveillance for such a period as the port health officer deems fit. Three, the port health officer may, in his discretion, return any person not being a citizen of Nigeria who arrives in Nigeria in contravention of subsection one to his place of origin on embarkation at the expense of the owner or agent of the vessel by which the person arrived in Nigeria. Four, the owner, master, or agent of any vessel shall ensure compliance with subsection one in respect of any person or board its vessel. Then we have uh, section 46. Section 46 reads thus, so 46 one, the parent or guardian of every child in Nigeria shall ensure that the child is vaccinated against the disease set out in the fourth schedule. That the registrar of birth and death shall immediately after the registration of the birth of a child issue the parent or guardian of the child a notice requiring the child to be vaccinated against the diseases to which this section applies. So what we have seen from this bill altogether is forceful vaccination using the instrument of the police to make sure that against individuals will or wish you are being vaccinated. And we say no to such a devilish bill. We say no to such satanic bills. And it will not stand. We will fight this bill with the last drop of our blood. And we are advising um, Honorable Femi Badabia Miller, if he is not an agent of Bill Gates, then he should withdraw this bill immediately. God bless Nigeria. I'm Dino Milai.